European history in Brussels. Uh, the building of it hasn't even started yet, and MEPs are already at odds over the cost and purpose. For more on this story, I'm joined by Marta Andreasen, a, a member of the EU Budget Committee and a UK Independence Party MEP who voted against the project. Good to see you today. The uh, EU, as we all know, is consistently preaching austerity by calling on its members to restrain spending. Now it itself plans to spend huge sums of money on a museum. How does that all fit together? Well, I think it's appalling, really. Uh, they are going to spend 55 million in refurbishing this building that they have. And uh, this is going to cost European taxpayers another 11 and a half million every year as they operate, to operate the, the museum. I think, you know, today the euro is falling to the lowest level uh, we have in the last five years. And, uh, you know, Spain is about to go bankrupt. There is no money to rescue the country. And here you have the budget committee in this European Parliament pushing through a project that is all about uh, their narcissistic um, views. They are going to recreate the story of Europe, the history of Europe. Uh, we don't need this museum at all. But you, you say we don't need this museum at all, uh, talking about the history of Europe. But, uh, you know, perhaps there is an argument to be said that as people in the Eurozone are struggling to get by day to day and to keep a roof over their heads and food on the table, that perhaps some Europeans would like to see cultural projects such as this carry on. Well, you know, there are a number of museums around Europe that tell the, story, the history of Europe, so we don't need an additional museum to do this. And there are other cultural projects that, you know, could be taken care of. But it is very important at this point in time that we focus on, you know, the economic and financial crisis and that we allow people to be able to eat and feed their children before we uh, divert resources, financial resources, into these uh, narcissistic projects. Now, do tell us how symbolic, though, is the whole idea of a European history museum uh, in these testing times, considering many are saying that the Eurozone or even the EU itself could soon be history? Well, <laughs> in fact, I do believe so. Although um, I, here in the European Parliament and in, within the European institutions, they resist the idea of allowing the Eurozone to break. But I, you know how things are going. It is very possible that Greece will believe in the Eurozone and maybe Spain will follow. So it is idiotic, I think, to allow this project to go on. Now, you are a former European uh, Commission chief accountant who, from what I understand, uh, you were fired when you went public with allegations that there were holes in the EU budget system. What were the flaws? And do you think anything has changed since then? Well, I, I don't think anything has changed. I'm just coming out of a meeting with the European Court of Auditors where the question I put forward to them is uh, if they feel that taxpayers trust them. And they say they feel they are trusted because the Parliament trusts it. But the Parliament doesn't exercise the defense of the interest of taxpayers as they should. So I think really nothing has changed. They live in a comfortable environment where they get uh, fat salaries and pensions and they just don't care about the interest of the European taxpayers, the interest of European citizens really. I don't think anything has uh, changed to the level it should have changed. And I think there is no hope for that because uh, the parliament, you, you know, we elected members to this parliament should be very forceful to make these changes happen and and we are not i mean i i am a solitary voice in this parliament about uh, the way the money of taxpayers should be spent the the the, the proper way and the efficient way marta andreasen a member of the eu budget committee and the uk independence party mep thank you for joining us on our thank team. you thank you